about that because at work I put people on hold. Yeah, Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Red Barn Radio. I'm Renee Cobb. This is Red Barn Radio's 18th broadcast season, and tonight is our 676th live concert performance. <laughs> tonight, Red Barn Radio presents Josh Gray and the Dark Features. This Nashville Americana singer-songwriter grew up in Montgomery County, Maryland. His sound is a mix of folk, blues, country, rock, and bluegrass the music that first inspired him to pick up a guitar. His thoughtful, poetic lyrics stick with you. Please welcome Josh Gray and the Dark Features to the Red Barn stage. slumber on a Sunday afternoon Her arms hang at her sides like the boughs of a willow tree Till they raise that stretch to say babe come on home to me Her heart's like an ocean too fast to swim, but it's better to die trying than regret not jumping in. Her heart's like an ocean, too fast to swim. Her heart's like an ocean, too fast to swim, but it's better to die trying than regret not jumping in. Her heart's like an ocean, too fast. The smile's a wild flower, watch out boy, she'll take your breath away. Expect nothing less from the girl with a name like a holiday. Her long legs carry her graceful through the crowd of the summer. above the ground so careless and free Her heart's like an ocean too fast to swim But it's better to die trying than regret not jumping in Her heart's like an ocean too fast to swim Her heart's like an ocean, too fast to swim. But it's better to die trying than regret not jumping in. Her heart's like an ocean, too fast to swim. Good evening, and welcome to Red Barn Radio. Wherever in the world you're listening, welcome to the music of Kentucky. 
WEKU is Red Barn Radio's official radio partner, serving Central and Eastern Kentucky. Listen online at WEKU.FM. Red Barn Radio is supported by Visit Lex, Lexington, Kentucky's Convention and Visitors Bureau. More information on what Lexington has to offer is at visitlex.com. Lex Arts, Lexington, Kentucky's Arts Council, creating a great American city inspired by the arts. Chef Greg Scott and Broussard's Delta Kitchen, featuring authentic flavors of New Orleans and the Mississippi Delta, and live music every weekend. On Main Street in historic Georgetown, Kentucky, Broussard's is on Facebook. Listen locally, working in concert with people to embrace opportunities, listen locally, and engage in shared experiences, including music, theater, poetry, dialogue, and conversation. More on Facebook, Instagram, and listenlocally.net. Griffin Gate Resort and Spa, a luxury spa located in the Marriott in Lexington, Kentucky. The Griffin Gate Marriott Resort and Spa is the ideal choice for your next visit to Lexington, Kentucky. And AccuPrint, providing printing, design, and fulfillment. Online at AccuPrint.us. Follow Red Barn Radio on Twitter and hopefully like us on Facebook. Now here again is the host of Red Barn Radio to tell you more about tonight's performance. On the Red Barn stage tonight is Josh Gray and the Dark Features. The musicians of Dark Features Band are Josh Gray on acoustic guitar and vocals, Julio Matos on bass, Jason Monday on drums, and Kenzie Miracle on fiddle. Please welcome Josh Gray and the Dark Features back to the Red Barn stage. Thank you. That first one was called Heart Like an Ocean. That's my, from my uh, first album. Uh, this next one is the title track off our new album. Songs of the Highway. Say, Senorina, won't you pour one for me? It's been a long, hard road from Nashville, Tennessee. Each border I cross, an unseen line reminds me what I've left behind. All my friends, so many miles away. So I'm singing to the wind these songs of the highway. Late night spent riding, lost in a haze. In the horizon, a glimpse the green ray. I oppose siding, it beckons to me. Carry my hardships on out to sea. There ain't no regrets beating in my chest, wouldn't have it in. Till it's gone It haunts you like the ghost Of a high lonesome song I yearn to hold her close When the autumn leaves fall As the inmate yearns To scale the prison wall The day don't pass Where I won't ask The shape remember
The next song is called uh, Midnight Rendezvous. That's also on the new album. Next one is actually the uh, the first song I ever played live. This one's called "The Outlaw." One, two, three, Staring out the window at a mountain range, speeding down the track on a one-way train. Got by my side, they say tomorrow I'll hang. Longing for my freedom like a dog on a chain Never felt no comfort in Caroline Got sweet Mary on my mind 
don't you cry for me Just lay me down where the river meets the sea Lay me down, girl Robbed a bank in Baltimore and River City, too Got lucky in Kentucky, yeah, you know how I do. I see got her with me down in Tennessee. They said, come out with your hands up. I said, hold on, let me uh, finish my tea. Ran to the bed, grab my boots and my gun. Hop from the window and away I run. Ran for the station and almost made it. Sometimes make plans and life has other plans to keep. Ain't that true? If I had a boy, you know I'd tell him, son, don't be like me, don't live by the gun. Well, you think a man's free just cause you him wrong. Well, that man ain't free, he's just a man without a home. So walk me to the gallows up those creaking steps. Put on my head and a noose around my neck. Yell to the coppers, do what you gotta do. Done more living in my short life than you could do in two. Come on, cut that rope, boys. Thank you. This next one is uh, another new one. This one's called All Out War. Uh, it's a love song, trust me. I can feel the heat on this Texas street Burning holes in the soles of my shoes Surrounded by men in dark and dense Communing with bottles of booze There's a picture of you at 22 In the breast pocket of my coat I turn it over when I'm not sober And shed tears to the words you wrote I said open your eyes, raise your fear Show me that we are worth more than this I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for all out war this old guitar carries the scars of a thousand barroom nights my fingers they trace the lines on her face as she sings neath the fluorescent lights i cradle each word like a newborn bird 
falling from the night I was too blind to see you had to be free or else be laid to rest I said open your eyes raise your fears show me that we are worth more than this I know it ain't easy but it's worth fighting for love ain't a battle it's an all out war an all out war Chasing my breath since the day you left 12 long years ago. It's the snap of the bone as the blade finds its home where love once flourished and flowed. I've known the sacrifice of a reclusive vice, though many an angel is tried. If you asked me today, I just have to say, I guess that I'm doing all right. I said, open your eyes, raise your fear, show me that we are worth more than this. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for. I said, open your eyes, raise your veil, show me that we're worth more than this. I know it ain't easy, but it's worth fighting for. Love ain't a battle, it's an all out war. Here's Red Barn Radio's Brad Becker. Well, good evening, folks. Thanks for being with us on Red Barn Radio. Our guest tonight is Josh Gray and the Dark Features. Uh, their 2019 release is Songs of the Highway. Um, Josh, as I told you, I had a, a great time listening to the album over the last couple of days. Lost uh, some considerable work time today. It's good to hear. Uh, lost in it. Uh, which was which was also uh, fun. Um, Josh is uh, getting some great uh, great press on this new album. Uh, the Oklahoma Review says Josh Gray's "Songs of the Highways" without a doubt one of the best albums I have heard in 2019. This is a debut album you are not going to want to sleep on. Get on the wagon now, as Josh Gray is sure to be a household name in the music business sooner rather than later. And I think, I, I think I'd agree. How, how does that make you feel to, to hear uh, a, a review like that? Um, I mean, great, obviously. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. A, it's a great thing for someone to um, appreciate what you put your heart into. You know, yeah. this is uh, at least three years of my life. You know, this, the stories on it. It, it took three years to, to write the songs and re record them. But, uh, you know, there's a lot more uh, living in there. In just three years can you can you be uh in in today's um music business can you be a household name uh doing one album every three years um i i choose to believe that you can yeah um i have never been someone who who writes songs uh who says i i wrote a song today uh -huh. you know i don't i don't uh songs take me months to write yeah um and uh, you know, maybe I just don't have that talent to to, to write it that quickly, and, and some people do. But uh, but I think good things take time. That's that's how I feel about it. And um, 
And I really feel like with we're in the age of Spotify and, and things like this, mm. and uh, I'm not going to let an app dictate how I make art, you know? And uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to... My favorite, my favorite artists release albums, and, uh, and I'm going to release albums. Um, I'm not going to put out singles to, to get likes, um, you know? Maybe on some people's epitaphs, it'll say, you know, they got this many <laughs> likes. Uh, I don't really care about that. Good. Um, I'm in it for the long haul. I feel that, uh, you know, people, people go back and listen to your catalog and, and see what they missed. Yeah. And right. uh, I think uh, we're just trying to play in front of as many people as possible. And, and uh, the more people that hear it, uh, you know, we hear nothing but positive things. So. Good, and so uh, tell folks how you, you're in Nashville now, that's home for you. Tell folks about your, your path uh, to Nashville. Uh, path to Nashville, okay. <laughs> so I grew up in, uh, in Maryland, um, in a place that had no music scene, basically. Um, and then I got a guitar when I was 16. I've been writing poetry and stuff like that since I was 12, you know, crappy poetry like most, most kids do. Um, most kids, I don't know that most kids do that. Well, those who write poetry write crappy poetry. <laughs> at that age. Um, and then I moved to uh, Frederick, Maryland, which is a, a small kind of music, little artsy scene. And, and I was uh, dared by a friend to play an open mic, you know, because we were going to these open mics for a while and just kind of observing. And I was writing these songs, um, not necessarily thinking about performing them, but just, just writing them. And uh, slowly gonna ease my way into it, you know, but, but he dared me and, you know, uh, the rest is history. You're I, how uh, old at this point? I was uh, 31 oh, at okay. that point. Okay, yeah. gotcha. So we so, fast forwarded from 16. Yeah, when I, when I was in high school, I tried to start a bunch of bands, you know, and people were flaky and it, it just didn't happen. Um, so I said, uh, if I do anything, it's going to be a solo thing. Hmm. And uh, I recorded a solo EP um, in Frederick. And then uh, in 2016, I moved down to Nashville and uh, started trying to, you know, meet people and form a band. Yeah. Kind of thing. And you did uh, and you did a crowdsourcing there to a sort of a crowdfunding, I guess, is what Definitely. We, I guess we call yeah. it crowdfunding to gather some money together to, to do the CD you wanted to do, the album you wanted to do. For sure. Yeah, tell yeah. folks about, about that sort of process and how, how that works. Um, you know, I'm stubborn and I don't want to be told what to do. So um, I get that impression. I didn't necessarily, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, on something that was so personal to me and so important to me, I didn't want, uh, you know, a label kind of telling me what to do. So I didn't even really approach that. Hmm. Um, and uh, the band here, um, I'm going to take a second to introduce the band. We have uh, yeah, Kenzie good. Miracle on fiddle. All right. We have Julio Matos on bass and uh, Jason Monday on drums. And uh, these guys who are with me, they all played on the album. So um, That's also unusual. I, mean, I, I think mean, so. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it is. We, we, we always have... Um, Artists on the program talking about their the the CD they had done in a studio and all, you know, all the people were hired hand. We hired some people, but this is this is my core band, and I really feel um, that they are that we are a band together. Um, in Nashville, there's a lot of people at play where they are. Uh, it's singer songwriter and hired guns. You know what I mean? You never know who's going to be on stage with them at that moment. But these guys always play with me, and that's uh, that's how I feel about it. And uh, that's it's extremely hard to form that kind of thing in, in Nashville. Um, everyone who moves to Nashville, they've already uh, done the failed band thing in their own hometown, and they came down to Nashville, you know, and they they're just gonna they want to make money and they're gonna jump on projects and things like that. But these guys stayed uh, stayed with me, and we. Uh, we recorded something really special. Um, and we spent months arranging uh, so that when we got in the studio, we recorded and basically, uh, they did their parts in like four days, you know? Huh. And uh, yeah. So it, talk, it, about the, the, talk about the crowdfunding the crowdfunding, how that worked. 
so we didn't have the money to do it. So uh, being the savvy, uh, um, you know, social media person that I've had to become, that, that, that you have to become being a musician these days. Hmm. Um, I don't want to tell you how many uh, business social media books I've, I've read. It's, uh, you know, something I'd rather not do. I'd rather be writing songs. Um, you mean you've spent you've spent time actually making a little bit of a study of yeah, it about definitely, it. So definitely how you got to go about it? So um, we did a 30 day campaign on Kickstarter, and um, we <coughs> recorded uh, like 30 videos, and we released a video a day pretty much. Hmm. Um, so it was a ton of work, but um, in the end, in the end, we raised uh, nearly nine thousand dollars. To, to do all the uh, the recording, um, and uh, you know it's an amazing thing to have people uh, believe in your in your project before they've heard a single song. You know, it's well, yeah. Crazy. So yeah, what role do you think the um, the the videos played it, it, when you when you made this study? Mm -hmm. um, was, was that sort of part of the manual? Is like you you need lots of visual media to put out there. Well, you start looking at things. Uh, you start looking at what gets the most hits, right? I mean, video get the gets the most hits. Yeah, um, sure. That's why you guys are doing video here, not just uh, taking Indeed. pictures of us. That's right. Um, and uh, so we released a ton of videos. I asked, uncomfortably asked a bunch of people to share them. You know, that's out of my comfort zone. Hmm. Um, they asked people to share them. They shared them. Um, and, uh, you know, I have my email newsletter, so I emailed out to those people, people who I'd, who had heard me back in Maryland and, and all over. Hmm. And, uh, but we were we were talking earlier about this uh, this kind of interesting story um, regarding the uh, regarding the Kickstarter campaign and, and raising the money. So I yeah, gonna, tell that I was going to bring that up. Um, so I, I don't know anything about cars. I'm not a car guy. Um, we uh, I commissioned an artist that I like to do the uh, the artwork for the back of the album and the artwork for our T-shirt as well, and it depicts. Um, part of this story, Two Hearts, um, which is uh, one of the songs in the album, one of the songs that we're going to play for you. Um, but I just told him, you know, draw me a badass muscle car, you know. And he, drive, and he, and he drew this, uh, this car, and I had no idea what car it was. And it's like, uh, I, I don't care. I'm not embarrassed about it. But, like, you know, it's <laughs> easily recognizable by a lot of people. It's, a, it's <coughs> like a 65 Mustang uh, fastback. So I had to go online and like search the, the air vents and uh. do all this stuff and, and, <laughs> and, and find out what kind of car it was. Um, and then I went on to Nashville uh, Facebook groups like uh, Mustang owners groups. And, and I finally <laughs> found the one guy who had the car in the right color um, because it was kind of an afterthought to do this, this whole photo shoot. Um, was this person down near where you lived? Uh, yeah, a little bit outside of Nashville. Okay. So they came in and... Um, and uh, they agreed to do the, uh, do the photo shoot. And I said, you know, obviously I'll pay you for your time. And they came and uh, it was an older couple and they came in and hung out and uh, watched us do this whole photo shoot for an hour. And I offered to pay them and they wouldn't take my money. Uh, super nice. Hmm. And uh, then back to the, the Kickstarter, you know, we're like five days away from the end of it. And it's like, um, we're like, thirteen hundred dollars down or twelve hundred dollars down something like that and this mystery donation comes in and i go and check the email it's the it's the guy with the car so just pretty pretty amazing yeah that's a great great story you want to tell people about the uh about the song two hearts tell can you tell people the story of that i know you, it's coming up in the I, I honestly don't <laughs> i don't want to tell them about two hearts because it itself is a story song Oh, got you. Okay. So it's you listen to the song and you're gonna get it. How about like a teaser? Um, it's badass. Okay, all right, there we go. <laughs> well, folks, stay tuned. We've got some badass music coming up here with Josh Gray uh, and the Dark Features. Glad to have you guys with us. Thanks so much and for having us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to talking some more uh, after you play some more tunes. Appreciate Welcome it. them back, folks. Josh Gray and the Dark Features.
If by some chance the timing's ever right I save that dance on a warm November night Take the hand of the man who stands for thee Need the tree with lights. Like rosaries. I'll love you till the end of the night and if it's all right till the end of my days what started as a spark in the dark of my heart my love has turned into a blaze If I were a richer man, I'd adorn your hands with the finest diamond ring. Lucky in my own right at the end of the night, cause you say you ain't got time for those kind of things. If by some chance the timing's ever right I save that dance on a warm November night Take the hand of the man who stands for thee Meet the dream with light Like rosary. I smell your hair in the morning air and see your face in every place I pass. Reappear when winter's near Like a heart drawn in the fog upon the glass Leaving now, I'm heading south I fear, my dear, our paths may not again cross Hope I'm wrong, I wrote this song to wish you well, like a lucky penny I toss. If by some chance the timing's ever right, I save that dance on a warm November night. Take the hand of the man who stands for thee. Need the dream with lights. Like rosary. So, you know, I grew up in a, in a fairly small town, and I hadn't, um, I hadn't really, uh, I'd been to big cities, but I hadn't lived in a big city before, and, and Nash moving to Nashville was my first time doing that. And uh, one of the things that was really apparent to me was, uh, was homelessness. And um, 
And I came down to Nashville with a dream to play music. And, and I thought to myself, you know, how naive would I be to think that some of these people out there uh, sleeping outside didn't come down with the same dream. And that's what this next one is about. It's called? It's called uh, Ghosts. I saw him standing there so dirty and disheveled. When I said hi, his eyes grew wide like he'd seen the devil. He said, oh, pardon me, my friend, most tend to pass me by. They'd rather wish I didn't exist than ever try and wonder why I stand here on this corner just trying to survive. Well, they avoid my glances. Life don't favor second chances. I asked to buy him a drink. He said, thanks, I think I'll pass, but Keep me in your thoughts and promise me you'll raise a glass for all the ones forgotten, for all the ones ignored, because in the end we're all human and virtue is its own reward. Southern wilds, patron saint of this lonesome mile, got evicted and lost her child. Try as they might, they can't take her smile. Six string Joe used to play the blues down on Beale and Union Avenue. Palm is good for a play. Ghosts of this American dream. Come on. Sarah sells street papers by the interstate. Her husband beat her till the day she ran away. Started drinking heavy to push aside the pain. Sober now, you ask your house as I take it day by day. Old John lost his arm to a bomb in the war. Been trying to find a job since 1974. No address and post stress shut many a door. Came home an unknown, saying, what are we fighting for? These are some people you like, lean and mean. If you ever look girl, when you're shuffling your feet, can the richest nation afford empathy oh, for the ghosts of this American dream? For the ghosts of this American dream? And I don't know the reason why so many turn a blind eye. Maybe they don't want to see. Don't want to see. When we hit hard times, it comes to mind. Maybe that could be me. Maybe that could be me. Yeah, I don't know the reason why so many turn a blind eye. Maybe they don't want to see. Don't want to see. When we hit hard times, it comes to mind. Maybe that could be me. Maybe that could be me. Thanks so much. Next one is uh, 
not one I wrote. It's one we all wish we wrote. It's uh, Neil Young's Heart of Gold. This portion of Red Barn Radio is brought to you by Chef Greg Scott and Broussard's Delta Kitchen, featuring authentic flavors of New Orleans and the Mississippi Delta, with live music every weekend. On Main Street in historic Georgetown, Kentucky, Broussard's is also on Facebook. Listen Locally is working in concert with people to embrace opportunities. Listen Locally and engage in a variety of shared experiences, including music, theater, poetry, dialogue, and conversation. More on Facebook, Instagram, and at listenlocally.net. The Griffin Gate Resort and Spa, located in the Marriott Hotel in Lexington, Kentucky. The Griffin Gate Resort is perfect for your next visit to Lexington, Kentucky. AccuPrint, providing printing, design, and fulfillment. Online at accuprint.us. And now welcome to the second half of tonight's Red Barn Radio program. Red Barn Radio is coming to you live from the Arts Place Performance Hall here in the great city of Lexington, Kentucky. Please welcome back Josh Gray and the Dark Features. You know, when people get married, they sing in sickness and in health, and I think that the, the sickness part of it is the true test of love, and that's what this one is about. This one is called Ease Your Pain. When one day the spark in my eye Shed not a tear in my name. Let our love live on in the words of this song. To 
bring you calm ease your pain said I'd never leave you lonesome oh my love wish it was a promise I could keep Sailing for the darkest ocean Into the greatest mystery Though I know your hearts are breaking Oh my love Standing strong by my side Leaving ain't easy for those taking It's hardest on those left behind When one day the spark in my eyes Shed not a tear in my name. Let our love live on in the words of this song. To bring you calm and ease your pain. You wear my pride upon your feet. Many happy years we've spent Loving names we gave each other Honored to have been called your friend Hear that train whistle call rolling down the track When I enter that long tunnel No, there ain't no looking back When one day the spark in my eye Shed not a tear in my name. Let our love live on in the words of this song. To bring you calm and ease your pain. Let our love live on in the Bring you calm and ease your pain. Thank you. This next song is called Woodland Rose. This is the one that I wrote back in uh, in Maryland when I was living there. Um, that's on this new album. There's a comfort that's come from knowing you're near Though I don't hear your voice 
We've drifted apart like ships in the dark. My darling, it was never by choice. Words said in anger that turned us to strangers. Tears that stain the path of dreams we chase. A moment's lapse of trust can never define us or lay this castle that we built to waste. I want so to hold you, though I don't deserve to. And doors once open like close. It's always been a fault of mine, remembering only the good times. It's one of the many, you know. My sweet little woodland rose. My sweet woodland rose. If what I've heard's true, you're with someone new. It was only a matter of time. Took many moons to overcome my wounds, and I buried that sword called pride. No amount of distance or time, slow persistence can sever the bond we share. You're feeling alone and your mind starts to roam. Know that I'll always be there. I want so to hold you, though I don't deserve to. And doors once open like close. It's always been a fault of mine, remembering only the good times. It's one of the many, you know. My sweet little woodland rose, my sweet woodland rose. Drifted apart like ships in the dark. My darling, it was never by choice. Thank you. This evening on Red Barn Radio, Josh is here with his band, uh, Julio Matos on bass. Jason Monday playing drums back there, and we recognize both of you guys from, from previous Red Barn Radio programs. And uh, someone I don't recognize, though, is, is uh, Kenzie Miracle, who's playing, um, who's filling out sort of all the lead duties this evening. How's that going, Kenzie? It sounds great from this Thank side. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. Tell folks uh, how you ended up in, in Nashville. Um, well, it's kind of a long story, so I started playing music when I was four. I Set the timer, Ed. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, no, tell, tell, take as long as you want to take okay. to tell the story. Um, so I started when I was four playing classical music, and I started with the Suzuki Music Program in Columbus, Ohio, and grew up playing all my life. My whole family was musical, and uh, Classical to was uh, your family, sort so, of classical so music family? Almost everyone in my family are band directors or ah. some kind of teacher to some degree. And was and there uh, some expectation that you would be sort yes. of following that track, that music Definitely. education yeah, track? Yeah, music education was for sure the one that was kind of pushed. And then I was like, I really want to perform. I don't really love teaching, like it's fine, but I just enjoy playing for people. That's like my, my true passion. Yeah. So I um, talked to my mom about it and she was like, you know what, I support you. I wanted to do trumpet performance growing up and I went and did education and now I'm not using it. So. Uh, uh, so I decided to study classical violin performance in college, and they happened to offer a bluegrass program. So I was like, well, I'll try that for sure. So uh, freshman year, did that. Sophomore year, I was like, 
I love it. I have to switch. So I just, that became my full-time thing, and I just did classical on the side. And my family's lives changed quite a bit from there because it was going to class school orchestra concerts, and then now I'm a bluegrass performance major and uh -huh. playing in old-time bluegrass bands and traveling all over, kind of to some crazy places like dirt roads, you, know, you can't find it on the map kind of thing. Yeah, right, real yeah. places. Yep, so I um, did that for about two years, I think, out of college, maybe just a year. Uh -huh. um, but then I was like, you know what, I think I need to make that, that leap. It's scary, but I've got to do it. So moved down to Nashville, and the rest is kind of history. I've just played with a lot of musicians, you know, network as much as possible, and each band leads to the next kind of thing. Is that how it works? Oh, yeah, definitely. Huh. At least for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, way to go. You're doing a great job, and uh, you sure do play an integral role in this ensemble. Thank you. Yeah. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, you Thanks too. for coming to Red Barn. Yeah. Nice to have you in Lexington. Um, and then, uh, so, hey, Josh, we were uh, talking about all kinds of things, and I, I'm going to have to sort of reel it in because there, are, I have all kinds of little notes and things here. Josh, um, come on. That's cool. Yeah. Well, um, I'll tell you one thing. One thing I would really like to know <laughs> is why she's standing there. Um, <laughs> one, thing, one thing I would really like to know is if you might talk a little bit about that, um, that period of time in your life between the time when you got that guitar and, um, and then you started a performing career at age 31, which is, you know, which is, um, what would we call that, uh, non-traditional. Uh, right. Yeah, it's like you're like a non-traditional student in some ways in the in the music world. Well, you just talked to someone who's been playing since she was four. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Right. So yeah, uh, what um, y you you said um, you said I, I saw this in your bio materials that uh, when somebody said w what took you so long to do what you're doing and you mm -hmm. said well I wasn't ready right. and I wonder if you could talk a little bit about what it means. Um, what it meant for you to be unready? That's a good question. Um, I like that you worded it, uh, what it means to me, because it's definitely different for other people. Yeah. Uh, for every person. Um, you know, I got a guitar when I was 16, and uh, I was just talking to these guys in, in, the, in the truck when we were driving up here. Um, uh, you know, I took two lessons. And I was like, this feels like school. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I, want, I want this to be fun. So I just kind of played on my own in my basement, you know? I just came up with little melodies and came up with things and just taught myself. There was also a conscious decision to, uh, to not learn cover songs mm. um, for fear that that style of playing would subconsciously work its way into my style. So meaning that y you would, you only did, uh, you only did stuff that you um, put together yourself or were you, uh, did you allow yourself to uh, rearrange songs? Like you, you just did Heart of Gold, but you yeah. did it, you did it sort of in, in, uh, in your own way. Uh, so at that time when I got the guitar and, and I was just kind of playing around for many years, I didn't, um, I didn't play any covers. I didn't rearrange anything. Uh -huh. um, so uh, I, it, just, it just took me a long time to where, to where I felt like, I, I felt like I got better, good at guitar before I got good at, at writing lyrics. Huh. I feel like, and then I, f I feel like, like you said, when I was 31, they kind of, they reached the same level or a level that I was happy with. Uh -huh. And that's when I knew it was ready. I was ready to uh, to go out and and play music. Um, I did I, I did um, play a song on a on a very obscure um, <laughs> album that came out uh, many years ago. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna play a song here um, coming up pretty soon. Punk rock girl by the Dead Milkman. Uh -huh. um, and I uh, and I'm friends with. Uh, with Joe, their guitarist, up in Philly. And um, they released an album, uh, like a compilation uh, album of, of a lot of their, their 
well-known songs. It was called Now We Are 20, when they were 20 years old as a band. And uh. so as a surprise uh, birthday party, my friend Marshall arranged with all of uh, Joe's musician friends, a lot of them, to, to record this album called Now You Are 50. <laughs> and then present it to them, and we, and we rented out um, this venue uh, in, in, in um, Philly and uh, presented it with them. Um, you know, I lied to them and, and led them there, and, <laughs> and we all surprised them. Um, and so you're featured on I, I'm that? on there, yeah, before I knew uh, really how to sing, so don't, don't look for it. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you know, because I taught myself to play guitar, I, I, uh, I'm not amazing at guitar. And, uh, and we were talking about this as well. I, f I feel like you have to make a choice at some point, whether you're going to uh, focus on lyrics or focus on music. I really, I really believe that's a, uh, that's a choice. So I'm not, you know, I, I play those uh, cowboy chords. And, uh, huh. and I really focus you know, 95% on lyrics. Um, I think if, if you focus 50% of your time on, on uh, getting good at an instrument, then you're gonna be 50% a good writer. That's, that's just how I kinda feel about it. Uh -huh. um, and also, I mean, the guitar w for me was always a, a canvas for the lyrics, you know what I mean? Um, so, uh, I don't know. I feel like we're getting off track here. No, but I'm not just, at all. I'm just not rambling. at all. So I mean, long, but long, long before you were comfortable, um, you know, getting out onto a stage with your guitar, you were comfortable um, a, as a writer, and that that's did that start off for you at a at a pretty young age where you, you know, sort of felt like you had you you talked about writing corny poetry when you were a teenager, but after that time, did you start writing some stuff that you felt? No, I think kind of about? kind of the time I started playing live was huh. uh, the same time that I I felt the like wow. the music and the lyrics aligned. Huh. So it kind of happened around the same time. Wow, it all came together <laughs> all at once. But um, you know, everyone has their favorite songwriters, and I have mine. Um, and I'm looking up to some, you know, I'm looking up to like Leonard Cohen and, and Dylan and people mm. like that. Um, so like I don't I don't feel like I'm there, but uh, but I feel like I've gotten close enough to um, to to be comfortable going going out and then playing songs. Yeah, know? I feel like you have to have good influences. Um, you, you you talked about um, when when you know you're ready. You know what I mean? If your influences are not good are not good songwriters and you want to become a songwriter, then you're going to be ready much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so it took me a long time. Yeah. Um, but uh, from those positive reviews, you know, you're talking about, I, I feel like uh, people are resonating yeah. with, with that. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing that, that I see in um, your, your writing is it seems like you, um, seems like you, you flex a, pretty good empathy muscle when you're writing a song. You know, it's like the, that, that, that guy who steps up to the person on the street, the homeless person on the street, and offers them a drink. I mean, because usually what happens is we say, well, don't give that, don't give that guy on the street money because he's gonna go out and buy a drink with it. Right. And so your character in your song says, hey, let's go have a drink. And right. then, interestingly, the guy declines, yeah. you know. But I, I find that, you know, that's that to me is just an interesting, an interesting twist that I see going on in, in a lot of your tunes. Yeah, I mean, I, I really appreciate you uh, paying attention to that. Um, you know, I, I uh, a lot, a lot of songs that I write like that are, are I'm trying to shine a light on, um, a shine a light to. Uh, to remove the shadow of the the stigma, you know, that a lot of people have the the assumption that um that uh they're all uh, drug addicts or or, or alcoholics, right. you know. I was reading an article and it says the it said the average um, American has a thousand dollars in savings. I mean, so if, if something happens to your car, 
or, uh, and you can't get to work or, or something happens to you health-wise and you can't work, I mean, you know. That's why, the, that's why that song ends, you know, uh, with it, you know, it could be me. Yeah, know? right. Well, that perspective, you know, is, is, um, is terrific. It also, I mean, not only is it healthy, but it also seems to me that it's generating some interesting, uh, you know, song material for you. Um, it doesn't, doesn't strike me as song material that um, the Nashville that I know is interested in. Uh, what's your experience? You know, like, what are you, what are you finding, um, you know, when you, when you um, as you get to know your audience, whether it's through, you know, who's listening on Spotify or what reviewers are saying or what people are saying to you out and about, what are you learning about your audience and how they feel about the honesty in your songs? Um, I think, I think the people who really resonate with it, with it uh, really like it, you know. Um, I'm a big believer that, uh, you know, you play to, uh, I, don't, I don't hold back. Um, this is my one outlet, you know. So if I can't be myself here, if I have to play a part, what's the point? Um, if I'm playing to 300 people, um, I'm still going to play that, that song that might not go over well, you know, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> because the five fans out of the 300 that I'll win from it, they're going to be lifelong fans, yeah. you know what I mean? And if I'm playing till the day I die, that's, uh, I think I'll rack, enough, r rack up enough of them over the years, you know? Yeah, so. I do too. Well, I, I know you've racked up a few here tonight. Folks, I hope you're enjoying uh, this program as much as I am. Um, Josh Gray and the Dark Features, they, they have um, a CD, Songs of the Highway, um, out there. And it's a, it's a great listen. I urge you to, um, to check it out. Uh, you can get it online through the usual uh, channels, I assume. Everywhere. Uh, okay. We are all over on digitally. Uh, as of today, we are um, in CD Central in Lexington. Yay! Um, all so right. if uh, if you like what you hear um, and you're in the area and you couldn't make it out, definitely uh, swing by there and pick one up. Well, good. Um, you yeah. went over there and met those guys today. Good. Yeah. Good people over there. Very nice. Uh, welcome back, folks. Josh Gray and the Dark Features on Red Barn Radio. Thank you. This next one is called Two Hearts. Uh, it's the one we talked about earlier. It's the, uh, the image on the t-shirt, the image on the back of the, uh, the album. This one goes out to Rosalie. Came to a stop one night on a dark and dusty road. 31 miles from the place I planned to go. Walked the white line till I did find a neon glow. The sign said, Welcome to the desert rose. I walked on in and pulled a stool up to the bar. Saw her sitting there and I forgot about my car. She slid right over with a drink and said, Hey there, how'd you know? She smiled, You kept me waiting. It's about time that you showed. And I said, Looks like you ain't I hugging it. Cause you and me, babe, we're two hearts on the run. Just then two men walked in from the hard driving rain. One had a knife and just my luck, one had a shank. One with a knife said, it's my wife, you're gonna meet your end. Now you all know I had no way of knowing that, my friends. I turned to her and said, you're gonna help me out of this mess. She reached right down and pulled a gun from me. A man said, wait a minute, think it over, Rosaline. She turned as Bridget Burton, she said, this is right to me. She said, looks like you and I are going to have some fun. Because you and me, babe, we're two hearts on the run. Ran out the back door, hopped into her little 
Sinatra. She shifted gears, we disappeared in a trail of mine. Down the maze of side streets and back roads, we didn't cry. Hollering with adrenaline, just happy to be alive. Looking back, they hadn't filed at the time, I thought it strange. Right then in the Rivian mirror, headlights shone through the rain. One day I know I'll burn hot as the setting sun. Right then I was the king, she handed me the gun and we sang. Looks like you and I are gonna have some fun. Cause you and me, they were two hearts on the run. Rolled down the window as they rammed us from the side. The truck fished tail to the left and then the right. Something in me changed. They barreled through the storm like a runaway freight train. Leveled the gun and I started to unload. Smoke poured from the hood and I saw a tire flow. They swerved into a ditch in the car, burst into flame. They hopped on out and started shouting all kinds of names and we sang. Looks like you and I are gonna have some fun. Cause you and me. miles and found a cheap motel hold up there for the night and I had some fun as well like a dream when I awoke the truck and her were gone and though she never said goodbye she at least left me this song from time to time she comes to mind my desert Rosalie and in a note you know she wrote these simple words to me we cannot return blindly from whence we've come I know one day you'll find me we are two hearts on the run. Thank you. I need to rehydrate after that one. This next one is called Born in Tennessee. Siren running wild and free Pretty as a peach in the orchard tree Hot as summer and sweet as tea Must have been born in Tennessee Hands on her heels, smirking at me Says Yankee boy, my love ain't free Opens her heart Hands you the key. Must have been born in Tennessee. Hold me like a river holds its polished stones. From the mighty Mississippi to Clingman's Dome. You're in my heart everywhere I roam. Give me one kiss for the endless road. Hold me like a river down to the honeysuckle grove pulls you close neath the poplar trees must have been born in Tennessee 
One day we'll have that island in the sun Together like two hearts on the run Till then she leaves a light on for me Sweet lady from Tennessee Hold me like a river rolls its polished stone For mighty Mississippi to clean me in the dawn You're in my heart everywhere I go Everyone cares for the endless road Hold me like a river rolls its polished stone Next one is a song that was on my first album. It's the the one that I was talking about. Uh, it was co-written by my friend uh, Joe and the Dead Milkman. This one is called Punk Rock Girl. One Saturday. Took a walk to zip ahead. I met a girl there and she almost knocked me dead. Punk rock girl, please look at me. What do you see? Let's travel around the world. Just you and me, punk rock girl. I tapped her on the shoulder and said, do you have a bow? She looked at me and smiled and said she did not know. Punk rock girl, give me a chance. Let's go slam dance, we'll dress like Minnie Pearl, just you. We went to the Philly Pizza Company and ordered some hot tea. And the waitress said, well, no, we only have it I So we jumped up on the tables and shouted an RT. And someone played a Beach Boys song on the Joe. California dreaming So we started screaming On such a winter's day We went to her parents For a Sunday meal Her father took one look at me And he began squeal punk rock girl it makes no sense your dad's the vice president rich as the duke of earl yeah you're for me punk rock girl
shopping mall and laughed at all the shopping. And security guards trailed us to a record store. We asked for Mojo Nixon, and they said, well, he don't work here. We said, if he don't got Mojo Nixon, then your store could use some fixing. We got into a car. And away we started rolling. I asked how much you pay for this. She said, nothing, man, it's stolen. Punk rock girl, you look so wild. Let's have a child. We'll name her Minnie Pearl. Just you and me. Eating fudge banana swirl. Just this stage here for a second. We got a couple more here for you. This next one is called uh, Darkest Before the Dawn. <coughs> on that new album as well, Songs of the Highway. You can find it anywhere online. You can go to my website, joshgraymusic.com, G-R-A-Y. care about our neighbors instead of asking for their papers and think about what we do to this world because human life's more precious than a blood diamond necklace or any flag that's ever been unfurled it's time to climb from neath the covers and stand up for each other in this the hour of truth when you opt for silence, those swallowed by violence won't be there when it comes for you. Oh, my friends, this ain't a sad song. Keep marching, though the road is low. Love is strong. It's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. Another mass killing celebrity villain face on the TV screen. They won't call them a terrorist. We all get the gist. It ain't in line with their white supremacy. We vote in these leaders and watch them impede us every step of the way. Self-serving cowards growing empowered with cash from the NRA. Oh, my friends, this ain't a sad song. Keep marching, though the road is long, will prevail. The 
love is strong. It's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. Every orientation and gender deserves equality. You ain't saving souls, trying to control the lives of those you've never seen. Let's stop arresting for minor possession if this is the land of the free. Been private prisons that enslave millions because they don't look like me. Oh, my friends, this ain't a sad song. Keep marching, though the road is long, we'll prove. Love is strong. It's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before the dawn. It's always darkest before. We would like to thank Josh Gray and the Dark Features for being with us this evening. We also thank our volunteers for their help with our production each week. We give a very special thanks to Nick Lazaroff for his production photography. Thank you all for listening to our webcast, watching us on YouTube Live, and those listening to us on the Red Barn Network of Stations. Thanks to WEKU, Red Barn Radio's official radio partner, Public Radio for Central and Eastern Kentucky. Listen online at weku.fm. It's your chance to hear more great live Kentucky music from Red Barn Radio and WEKU. We also thank the members of our studio audience for supporting the mission of Red Barn Radio, which strives to present, promote, and preserve the rich musical tradition and artists of this Kentucky region and share this treasure with the world. Red Barn Radio comes to you from our home, the Arts Place Performance Hall in downtown Lexington, Kentucky. Our website has updates and further information on our guests and our program. We're on the web at redbarnradio.com. Tickets for Red Barn Radio are now available at eventbrite.com, Lexington. Next week on the Red Barn stage, Whiskey Foxtrot. They are a five-piece Americana alt-country roots rock band from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, founded by Seth Williams and Sam Foster. Teaming up together, they quickly became a regional favorite. They play hundreds of shows per year across North Carolina and Virginia, while continuing to grow a following in the southeastern U.S., Whiskey Foxtrot plays with a common goal to write, record, and perform their own material for audiences all across the country. Their original music is a combination of country, blues, and rock and roll, stemming from influences such as the Allman Brothers Band to Tom Petty and beyond. That's Whiskey Foxtrot next week, 7 p.m. on the Red Barn stage. Once again, please give it up for Josh Gray and the Dark Features here on the Red Barn stage. 
just wanted to take a second to thank uh, Red Barn Radio for having us um, and all the stations that carry them, um, as well as everyone here in the audience and everyone uh, listening on the radio and, and online. Um, uh, a lot of people that we, a lot of musicians we like have, uh, have played here, so uh, we're really uh, happy to be here. Uh, this last one is called uh, Take Her By The Hand, and this is on the, uh, the new album as well. Uh, which you can find at uh, joshgraymusic.com, G-R-A-Y, um, as well as, uh, if you're in Lexington, CD Central. Um, so, yeah, go check it out. Like riding towards the sun, set in search of gold. Hearts been trampled beneath a lifetime of dust. Foolish, I'm searching for a soul I can trust. Days spent dreading the night so long. Whoa. Gonna make my stand Bend in a shadow and take her by the hand Bend in a shadow and take her by the hand We all share a sentence We ponder at night We all have scars you can't see in the light Wander this world if we're alone One in the river As she whispers her poem Days been dreading The night so long Walking in the verses Of the same sad song Believe me when I find her Gonna make my stand find her the one in my dream will she elude me like so many it seems the heart is a compass points out the way Entered the room, time is slow. My heart awoke like a seed neat the snow. Well, they say love's blind when you see it, yo. Well, folks, that's all of Red Barn Radio for this week from Lexington, Kentucky. You can see and hear us worldwide as we stream live on the web on YouTube Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern in North America. 
Our program is also available on the WEKU app. Check out Red Barn Radio on demand. Now from all of us here at Red Barn Radio, to all of our friends worldwide, it is our hope that you have a terrific week. Until next time, good night from all of us here at Red Barn Radio.